Hi and welcome to the channel. It's a surprisingly rainy January. Mountain Spring Lake, Michigan in A&A Manufacturing. Let's go ahead and see what Michigan makes. I'm inside. It is, like I said, it's strangely rainy and not uh, snowy. And this is Michigan and we're right by the water and the water's not frozen, which is extremely strange. A&A is on the west side of the state. I'm on the east side of the state. So basically I went from one side to the very other. Lake St. Clair to this side of the state. So it's going to be fun. Show you some machines, meet the owner. I really appreciate their time. Let's get to it. Hi guys, I'm Jim from a, a Manufacturing. Uh, we've been in business since the 1960s. It started as a, uh, a dye repair shop, slowly evolved into having our own product line of uh, gussets, tabs, um, weldments for, for just about any market, from racing to off-road to furniture. You know, we can, we can make it. If we don't have it, we can definitely build it. We've, we've got about 9,000 square foot of, of machining area that we use and our product line consists of about 3,000 pieces. So this is our tooling department and this is where the business started. This is the original um, four walls of the business that started in 1960. A lot of our machinery is old basic. We got some knee mills, we got a couple surface grinders, a roughing mill, um, an upright bandsaw. Everything we do is by hand. We don't do any CNC um, work for our dies. We do everything by hand. So it definitely takes more time, but there's a lot of pride in what we do. So this is the tailing from our stamping products. So as you can see, each part is nested and there's about an eighth inch material between them. That is not done automatically. The operator has to physically move the steel to get that spacing. It's all hand-eye coordination and we use the steel to our best ability to get the most pieces. So this machine is from about 1950. It's an LNJ number no. 5, 40 ton press. We do a lot of our stamping on this one. This, this makes a lot of small tabs. Eighth inch material is really good through it. It's not hard on the machine. And we can make about 2,000 pieces an hour on this machine. Bliss 200 ton. To get it in the building, they had to cut a hole in the roof and drop it through with a crane to seal the roof back up. I don't know that we'll ever get it out of the shop, but uh, we don't run it a lot, but when we do, we run 5 eighths, quarter to 5 eighths material. It shakes the office, which is in the front of the building. It's an amazing machine. Um, they definitely knew what they were doing when they built that one. So this is a, our newest machine. This is a Bliss 60 ton. It's got an air clutch. It's it's pretty up to date as far as like presses go. It's kind of one of our our uh, our second in line press that we run. Run a lot of tabs in it. A lot of 3 16 material, bigger pieces, but uh, but we use this one a lot. Um, my brother-in-law named it Beatrice. This is a consolidated number 75. This press has been here since I've been here. I've been here 25 years. We run one job on this press, and it's to make uh, VW axle clamp brackets. We run it maybe twice a year. This is a 1975 Bliss C110. It's a 100 ton press. We run a lot of bigger stuff out of it. Mostly 8th inch, some 3 16 But uh, some of our bigger jobs go through here before they get formed or, or blanking them so we can pierce them later. Um, we, this is probably our third most popular press. We run this one every day. So this is an old Bliss 125 ton. This press has been here um, for about 40 years. It, it does a lot of the bigger jobs, as you know, the, the 125 ton is, is, uh, is quite a bit, kind of the threshold for our, for our presses, um, but, but this one we don't run a lot, maybe twice, three times a month. So the next area of our shop I'm going to cover is our turnings area. We've got about five brown and sharp screw machines and one turret lathe that we use daily. We make threaded bushings, we make straight bushings. Uh, so what I, what I mean by turnings is we're taking round stock, we're, we're uh, cutting it, we're drilling it, we're tapping it, and making all sorts of, of uh, bushings for, for race cars, for off-road vehicles, for um, just about any, any application you can think of. We use uh, aluminum, stainless steel, mild steel, uh, DOM tubing. Um, we can do just about anything with these machines. They're, 
They're amazing little machines. They're from the uh, 1940s, 1950s. We can still hold within three to four thousandths on dimensions on the pieces. So, um, this rack here is just a small variation of the parts that we make on them. Anywhere from like an aluminum shock spacer to, to uh, high misalignment spacers. You know, the possibilities are endless with that area. So our primary line is just standard straight bushings for race cars. Um, we, we sell a lot to um, the, the big chassis manufacturers as well as um, the guy in his garage doing his own work. Got into the off-road industry a little bit with, with high misalignment spacers. Rock climbing or um, just just out out in the, in the mud, they're, they're, they get a lot of articulation on their hind joints and so if one binds up, they're, you know, it's no good on the hind joints. So, um, they came to us and we started making some high misalignment spacers which allows the, the hind joint to, to travel further without binding. When we're setting up our brown and sharp screw machines, um, this is what this is a set of cams and these basically dictate um, the part we're going to make. This particular set makes a, a bushing and, and it recesses the ID of the bushing. Uh, this cam would, would tell the, the turret which holds the tools um, what, when to go forward and backwards. And then these other tools will control the front and back slides, which, which hold the, the chamfer tool and the cutoff tool. Uh, all of our cams are designed by uh, Lester Detterbeck in the Upper Peninsula. Great company. I've been working them, with them for about five years. They design all my tooling, and, uh, and, and uh, they, they've done some really good work for us. The next area we're going to talk about on the tour is our cleaning, our vibe center. When we purchased the business in 2008, we were, or 2014, I'm sorry, we were sending out all of our parts to be cleaned and then we would have to get them back, sort them, and so on. Every part that we ship out of our shop has been cleaned, deburred, a rust inhibitor on it. So the shelf life of the rust inhibitor is about six months, um, depending on humidity. Our idea is that every part goes out of here um, should not have a sharp edge to where the customer can cut themselves. It should be free of burrs, free of, of garbage, should be clean, and when you weld it, you shouldn't have to do anything but weld it. Custom orders, our lead time is about three weeks. Um, catalog parts, we, uh, we generally have on the shelf. So if you order by one o'clock um, our time, you know, it generally ships the same day.